What's up guys? In this video we are going to take a look at everything new that is coming to Wazon Mobile Season 3. So here's a list what we can expect from Season 3. We are going to get 3 of the 4 new base weapons. Those will be freely available in the battle pass. 8 new aftermarket parts also will be available in the arsenal store for free throughout the season. We will get black cell content, we will get battle pass content, we are going to get new operators, Stasis, Makarov, Snoop Dogg, Benchy and Hush. There will be definitely new store offerings and bundles. We are going to get 4 weekly events that are specially designed for Wazon Mobile. Season 3 prestige levels 10, 11, 12 and 13 as well as past prestige levels. Just keep in mind the most sniper rifle, its weapon blueprints and certain other content will not be available on Call of Duty Warzone Mobile at the start of the season. We will update the community at later date when this weapon becomes available. This is from Call of Duty official blog post. We are also going to get a new multiplayer map Rust. It will be a core 6v6 map at launch. Brand new core 6v6 small size map is gonna be and it is from Modern Warfare 2019. For Battle Royale we are going to get a plunder mode. It is confirmed. It's not rumored or anything. It is 100% confirmed. So basically what happens in this mode is we battle to earn the most cash in this new game mode. We will drop into Verdansk and loot cash from the map. Complete, we will complete contracts and battle opponents to be the first team to earn 200 million in game will win. Reaching that cash threshold triggers a 3 minute overtime where cash values doubled. Be the top earning squad when time expires and you will win. Respawn is enabled in plunder so if you will die you will be respawned and players always deploy with their selected loadout so whatever loadout you will select you will have it. This makes plunder ideal for leveling up weapons. This is the best game mode to level up weapons. You can level up any weapon here and exploring the map without the looming threat of an enclosing gas circle so there will be no gas circle in plunder in Verdansk. The free form nature also makes for a variety of viable strategies. This is the best game mode to level up weapons and for new players who have no idea about Verdansk who have no map awareness. We are also going to get a new battle royale mode buyback. So this is going to be the main battle royale mode where the rules are generally the same aside from one important difference. The gulag is closed and should an enemy take you out you have a single respawn to drop back into the action so make it count. Additionally for duos, trios and quads you can buy back any teammate who hasn't made their second chance count. Expect this new mode to enter playlist rotation during the initial launch of window of season 3. It's official from Call of Duty Warzone mobile blog post. Also Rebirth Island going to get UAV towers. And those towers will be marked on your tag map so you can easily locate them. And we all know UAV towers reveal location of enemies so whenever you will activate it, it will reveal the location of your enemies. Every week, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile will have an event where a variety of exceptional cosmetics can be unlocked. These are designed for use only in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. With each event comes a new key and optional and entertaining way to obtain more items of varying rarity levels by spending code points including operator skins and weapon blueprints. Week 1 event The Recruit was on mobile launch April 3 to April 10th. Total event reward 6. We will get Basilisk Annihilation Weapon Blueprint Hodge Ghostly Operator Skin. Week 2 event The Assassin It will Start from April 11 to April 17. Total event rewards will be 5. Crossbow, Dusk Fire Weapon Blueprint, DG58, LSW, Bandit's Breath Weapon Blueprint on week 3. That will start from April 18 to April 24. Total event rewards will be 5. Reward highlights are 
pickaxe scale issue weapon blueprint ltb high vis vehicle skin and for week 4 that will start from april 25 to may 1st total event rewards will be 5 as well we will get mtz interceptor dis disruption weapon blueprint atv loom and doom vehicle skin overall summary we are going to unlock three weapons for free at the start of season 3 the fkx horus smg more sniper rifle the gladiator melee punch knife and expect the bal 27 assault rifle later in the season in mid season update we will get the ball assault 27 rifle we will also get variety of aftermarket attachments that range from the esoteric to the insane including a fully automatic m16 from modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 sorry and akimbo lever action shotguns we will get akimbo then operators we are going to get makarov snoop dog benchy hush and then black cells stasis operator headline up pack season 3 battle pass so let's talk about aftermarket parts jack cutthroat will be unlocked by weekly challenge it is compatible with mcw mtc m4 and amr9 submachine gun this aftermarket stock provides an unrivaled combination of speed and stability while aiming down sights jack revenger another aftermarket part which will be unlocked by weekly challenges as well it will be compatible with bp-50 modern warfare 3 assault rifle this conversion kit turns the bp-50 into a cqc legend a 9mm caliber conversion with shortened receiver and high capacity magazine jack jawbreaker is an other aftermarket part which will be compatible with kv broadside modern warfare 2 shotgun converts this shotgun into a hard hitting automatic battle rifle next is jack shadow titan kit unlocked by weekly challenge as well compatibility with broen mk9 converts the broen mk9 into a compact integrally suppressed light sport weapon chambered in 300 blackout i don't know what it means but it i it feels like it will be more like an assault rifle or smg we will get jack petroid aftermarket part of course unlocked by weekly challenge compatible with m16 assault rifle it will convert m16 into a fully automatic rifle with heavy ported barrel built to provide superior recoil control and firing aim stability we will also get wardens aftermarket part it will be compatible with lockwood mk2 marksman rifle relive the glory days stir up the ornate's nest and take down your enemies leaving no loose ends with these museum worthy akimbo lever action shotguns oh nice then we will get jack atlas kit compatible amr9 submachine gun from modern warfare 3 converts the amr9 into an extremely lethal and accurate five round burst carbine chambered in 556 so it will convert it into burst then we will get photonic charge barrel it will be compatible with morse sniper rifle the new sniper rifle that is coming this hyper advanced barrel is more than a simply a barrel holding the trigger charges the rifle and releasing fires a single high power energy projectile i don't know what it means but it looks cool if you will log in on april 3rd you are going to get a free gift from activision you are going to get 12 speakers and a free blueprint of mcw weapon i think that's all related to wazen mobile if you want to read in detail about this blog post you will find the link in description Thank you for watching guys, drop a like, subscribe for more useful content, take care.